Yes. Yes. I mean, essentially, yes. So. If he says you cannot file as a libertarian, then are you going to file on one of the two major political parties, or are you? I guess, I guess we'll see. I don't want to. I don't, don't want to put out a spoiler alert. I don't wanna, okay. and my hand has been tipped enough as it is. We'll be here. Back to work. We'll be here. Thank you. Thank you for stepping up. Oh, cheapers! No, I didn't mean to bother with the meeting. Yeah, hate to do that. Yeah, we hate to bother. All right, we'll be back when you. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, so in the meantime, we're just, uh, I guess, loitering in the Secretary of State's. Uh, Office because we can. One of, the great, one of the great things about America, the country that we live in, and one of the great things about the Grand State is yes, we can indeed um, come here and loiter uh, and make uh, our presentations and uh, the campaign to the uh, people who work in the office and stuff. Mr. Oh, Gardner. He's here. Yes, he is. Oh, thank you. Hello, Mr. Gardner. Thank you for coming here today. I'd like to thank you very much for the uh, role that you play here in New Hampshire and uh, in democracy in general. And uh, it's a great little fight when you run here. And, uh, and uh, I think we all enjoy the opportunity to come up and and play a little bit uh, with the with the state of New Hampshire and uh, the assembled uh, peoples in yeah, the meeting. You, you almost put that boot on my head. Oh goodness! Over yes, the I remember that. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yes, I, I didn't I, get there. But no. Uh, yeah, Mr. Gardner is referencing a, a uh, opportunity when I donated a lot of my memorabilia and uh, political stuff to the uh, New Hampshire Political Library. And uh, during the presentation, uh, Mr. Gardner graciously attended. And I did give him the opportunity to put my boot on his head, uh, which he politely declined. And, who and I almost did, but the reporters kind of said, we'll have to take pictures if you do that. Oh, yeah. So, they were, that lamestream media, they're always trying to do that, trying to gut you like well, they that. Were, no, no, they were actually trying to help me. Mm, okay. They were actually trying to help me. All right. Well. So. I, you've been on this ballot before. Yes, sir. Well, uh, what, what, I, what I would like to ask you today is I want you to put me on the Libertarian Party primary oh. ballot, sir. We don't have a Libertarian Party in New Hampshire. I stand uh, a, a, a legal one. A legal one. In order to be a legal party, uh, you had to have a candidate on the ballot for governor or a write-in for governor who received 4% of the vote. And that, that applies to all parties, Republicans and Democrats. Yes, sir. Any party that does not have a candidate for governor, uh, that, 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 or the, the candidate gets less than 4% of the vote. Uh, who decided that 4% number, just that, for our viewers? Well, it used to be, it, uh, it used to be 3%. It used to be 3%. And it only applied to governors. Mm -hmm. But they decided to add uh, U.S. Senate to it. So now it, it's either U.S. Senate or governor, either one. Mm -hmm. And when they added U.S. Senate, they upped it by 1%. And that was the legislature of New Hampshire? The legislature did that about 20 years ago. Uh, bastards! It's an outrage! How dare they! And stuff like that. Um, well, of so course, there is, so for this primary, <laughs> yes, sir. we've only had two presidential primaries that included libertarians, and they were in uh, 1992 and 1996. Those were the two. Good years. Good years. Uh, <coughs> because they had a legal, uh, they were legal as a party. So in the last election, last I November, believe Mr. Garner is claiming that the Libertarian November, Party is illegal. Last November, uh, yep. November of 18, the candidate for governor did not get 4%, and we did not have a U.S. Senate. Do you know how many percent he did? Four. 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 A, I think it was a she. Anyway, uh, I think it was like, you know, it was one or less one. than one. Eh. It wasn't eh. much. Well, that is rather unfortunate. I believe it is certainly an impediment to democracy. And I hope in the future that the New Hampshire legislator will consider lowering the threshold of uh, uh, major party access to allow minor parties, and certainly parties of good faith, and uh, 
good belief systems uh, to get on the ballot. I will be participating in the Libertarian Party ballot uh, this year, and that will preclude my ability to be on the New Hampshire primary state run ballot uh, because that uh, would because there can be no fusion candidates in the Libertarian Party, and I'm seeking the Libertarian Party nomination. Today is the last day to register for the presidency of the ballot of New Hampshire. It is also the last day that you can register as a member of the New Hampshire Libertarian Party in order to take part in their primary, nhlp.org. And on that note, sir, I will thank you very much. There is no Libertarian Party primary on the I beg to differ, Mr. Secretary. Sure. We are actually funding and uh, holding our own primary by mail in. Uh, we are oh, all registered states, members. In, in, oh, in New oh, Hampshire. Oh, in, yes. oh, right. in, in New oh, Hampshire. No, no, okay. I'm just talking about New oh, Hampshire. Oh, right. But in New Hampshire, the Libertarian Party itself is conducting a self-financed oh. uh, primary that uh, you can, ma you can uh, mail in the ballot. If you're a member of the New Hampshire Libertarian Party, yeah. uh, then uh, they will receive a ballot by mail. And then they will be able to vote. And uh, this year, unfortunately, because I, you know I was loving to, be, I wanted to really bad to be on the uh, Republican ballot. But this being my first uh, actual campaign with real consequences, um, I have opted to uh, decline the opportunity to appear on your ballot. But I did want to thank you very much for the opportunity, and I did want to uh, let you know that the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire is indeed holding a primary. I suppose it's a parallel primary, perhaps an outlaw primary, if you will, and. Um, and this is the last day for uh, anybody to join the NHLP.org uh, in order to uh, take part in that. Sir, I want to thank you very much. Yeah, the, the uh, uh, we certainly have the right to do that. Understood. And, yes, and, and uh, it'd be before, great if we had the right to run the state, a primary on this. Before the state, state ran well. a primary. Yeah. It, in 1916 was the first New Hampshire presidential primary. Mm -hmm. In 1912. One of the parties actually had their own primary, so it's been done. So, now do, do the parties end up paying for the, the costs associated with the primary itself, or is that no. all on the state? No, it's all on the state. Very good. Uh, in a number of states, the parties pay. So, for instance, <laughs> South Carolina, the uh, the the party, the state has paid sometimes. And sometimes the state has to pay. Mm, okay. And this time, the state has definitely was not paying. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So that's, and that's part of the reason New Hampshire has the first in the nation, because the state has consistently paid for the primary. The people of the state mm -hmm. paid for it. Are, are the people okay with that, do you think? Are, are the people of New Hampshire uh, good with uh, their tax money paying for uh, primary well, not for the two parties? It's just it's just, it's just it's paid for by what people taxes. pay uh, for different. Sure, their tax money is sold from us. You mean? Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's the a, government it's is essentially giving money yeah. to two private organizations to run their primaries where we're self-funded. Is that correct? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, maybe next time. Four years. We, we, uh, we, don't, we don't have you on the lesser known debate because when you dumped that confetti, you know, on Mr. Jarrett. Well, you were a bit, a bit naughty. Uh, Mr. Rand, uh, Mr. Jerry, yes, yes. Uh, that. But I did uh, go and when I first heard about that last cycle, and they uh, claimed that uh, it was going to cost three hundred dollars to reimburse them. I did go there with the money to St. Anselm, and uh, I didn't know about that. Yes, it was. I was actually on my knees, and uh, I was very, uh, um, I was begging the guy to let me on the thing, you know. And uh, I did ask about twenty twenty, and he said we'll see. But uh, obviously, since I'm not on the uh, New Hampshire State primary ballot, uh, I think that's only for the people who uh, put up the thousand bucks. See. Don't count me out yet. It's not over till it's over. I'm a petty and vindictive man, and I will not let this slight go. We can sign your LPNH primary form right here if you like. Oh, can I? Okay. Might as well do it. Do you mind me being here for a moment? Okay, sure, do you have it?